Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is um, on factoring and we're, <clears throat> we're going to be factoring the difference of squares. So if we have two terms, all right, um, one of them is um, x minus 3 and the other one's x plus 3. And notice that they're the same so we have x's here and we have 3 here, so they're identical. And if we multiply them together, so the x times the x, which gives us the x squared, the x times the plus 3, which gives us the plus 3x, the minus 3 times the x, which gives us the minus 3x, and the minus 3 times the 3, which gives us the minus 9. What happens is this 3x minus the 3x, they cancel one another out. And we're left with x squared minus 9. Now, what we have when we have x squared minus 9 is called the difference of squares. And notice that here we have something squared, which is x. So x is squared, and here we have something squared. We have 3 squared. So whenever you have this situation, something squared minusing something squared, you have the difference of squares. Okay, And both of these are perfect squares. <coughs> now, when we factor the difference of squares, we ask ourselves, what here is squared? And it's the x. And that has to go, when we're factoring, that has to go into this bracket, that x. We also ask ourselves, what here is squared? Well, it's a 3. So we have a 3 squared here. So reminding ourselves that we have x squared minus 3 squared. So that's what's squared here, and the 3 is what's squared here. And that's what goes into the brackets, the x and the 3. In the first bracket, there's a subtraction sign. And in the second bracket, it's the same thing, x and 3, but there's a plus sign. Just like what we started with here, OK? So if you look at this one, this um, equation here, so 4a squared minus 25, the first thing we ask ourselves is, hmm, is that a difference of squares? Especially when we see a negative, right? Two terms and a negative. When we look at it and we go, oh yeah, 4a, that's a 2a squared. So what we have then is a 2a squared. 25 is 5 squared. So we subtra we're subtracting our 5 squared. Now these numbers are the numbers that are going to go into the bracket. So we end up with 2a minus 5 times 2a plus 5. Now if you're thinking, well, you know what, I'm not really sure about that. Let's walk through this and see if it actually works. So 2a minus 5 times 2a plus 5. 2a times 2a gives us 4a squared. 2a times 5 gives us plus, and it's a plus 5. So plus 10a minus 5 times 2a gives us a minus 10a and minus 5 times 5 gives us a minus 25. So we have 4a squared, 10a minus 10a, so these two are gone, and we're left with 4a squared minus 25. Okay? All right, so let's go and try some questions here. So here we have 9x squared minus 49. So that negative should be a hint. Just, just stop and take a look. 
and you ask yourself, do I have any squares here? So the 9x squared, what we have squared is 3x. So the 3x is squared. 49 is 7 squared. So we have minus 7 squared. Now these are essentially our x and y's. Normally the equation for a difference of squares looks like this. x squared minus y squared equals x minus y times x plus y. So this is essentially our x. All right, and this is essentially our y. So when we rewrite it, we write it as 3x minus 7 multiplied by 3x plus 7. Then if you're feeling well, you know, I'm not really sure about that, you can just walk through the steps again. So 3x minus 7 times 3x plus 7, 3x times 3x is 9x squared, 3x times 7 is plus 21x, minus 7 times 3x is minus 21x, and minus 7 times 7 is minus 49. So you're left with 9x squared minus 49. Again, the difference of squares. So this is definitely our answer. Okay. Second question. Take a look at this and we can see 32 is not a perfect square and neither is 50. But remembering the previous video on the common monomial, the common factor, so first thing you always do when you're factoring is ask yourself if there's a common factor. And the common factor here is 2. Both of these numbers are divisible by 2. So then what you do is you pull out the 2, and we're left with 16L squared minus 25. Now what we have is the difference of squares. The thing that's been squared here is 4L, and the thing that's been squared here, the number that's been squared here, is 5. So then our 2 remains in the front. Say, all right, I have a 4 here, 4L minus 5 times 4L plus 5. And that would be your answer. Okay? Okay, a couple more questions. And if you want, you can pause the video and try the question yourself, and then turn it back on, and I'll walk through the questions. So here, first of all, that negative sign is a hint, and then we ask ourselves, okay, do we have squares here? Yeah, 25 is 5 squared, 144 is 12 squared, and of course the tricky piece is what's happening here, a to the fourth, so what's squared? So if we have a to the fourth, we can say that a squared has been squared, which gives us, of course, a to the fourth. So, what we have here squared is 5a squared. So in the first bracket we have 5a squared minus 12b. 12 squared is 144b squared is b squared. Okay? And this multiplied by 5 a squared plus 12b, 12b, there you go. And then again, if you're feeling unsure, you just multiply through and see if that actually works. Now, last question. We have something squared, looks a little different than what we've been looking at, but we have something squared 
minus something squared. It's important when you're working with this is to figure out, okay, what's been squared here before you start working on it. So we can see for the first one, it's the s plus t that's squared. We can see for the second one that it's a 30, or I'm sorry, that's wrong, a 6t squared that's been squared. Okay, now these are the two pieces that are going to go inside the bracket. So something squared minus something squared. All right. So the first one then, you put s plus t, right, which is the first thing, minus the second thing, which is 6t squared. Then another bracket. So then we have the first thing again, s plus t added to the second thing, which is 6t squared. And that would be your answer. And again, if you're not sure, walk through the steps, try this, and see if it actually ends up giving you this. Okay? And that video has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a good day.